DNA is the blueprint for life. It is made up of units called genes. Genes are made up of pairs of nucleotides. Every set of three nucleotides is ordered to code an amino acid. Amino acids form proteins. Proteins form living cells. And living cells make up your entire body. Sometimes genes can be mutated. This can cause genetic abnormalities or disease. We can find these mutations through gene sequencing. Gene sequencing looks at every gene that makes up the human genome. In 2006, the first human genome was sequenced. This took 15 years and $3 billion. So what took so long? There are 3 billion pairs of nucleotides in every human. That's enough data to fit into 12 dual-layer Blu-ray discs or 30,000 King James Bibles. Now in 2013, the human genome can be sequenced in 40 hours for $5,000. This means we are able to produce more gene sequencing data than ever before. This sequencing means faster diagnosis, better treatment, and new discoveries. But it still takes two weeks to analyze each genome. The more genomes we sequence, the more time we need for analyzing. This requires powerful software and lots of data storage space. So how do we deal with all the data? What Churchill did is it looked at that, um, the computational steps that are involved to go from that 300 base pair raw sequence read and to piece that back together into the genome and then find the genetic variants um, and worked out how to efficiently distribute them across multiple computers. The Thousand Genomes Project has been an attempt to gather, to sequence initially a thousand individuals from different ethnicities, um, really to try to improve our knowledge of what's the, what's the normal level of genetic variation. We went to them with a proposal to say, we think we can analyze the entire thousand genomes raw data in less than a week. Uh, would you be willing to support us in doing that as a proof of principle? And so we were very fortunate they said yes. They have something that's called a cloud, compute, cl cloud computing environment. So there we could utilize um, 400 computers, each with 16 cores. And we were like, well, what would be something useful for the community in terms of analysis? And that comes back to the thousand genomes. One hope that I have is that um, when you're seeing patients that you suspect may have a rare syndrome or a metabolic disorder, that by using next generation sequencing, you're going to be able to very rapidly say, this is the gene that's wrong, this is how you need to treat this uh, particular individual to stop harm being, further harm being done. <laughs>